I'm just kind of, I'm just here for just a few short minutes just to kind of uh, um, put it in context, put the context, give the context of um, you know, collaboration in this thing from, a, I guess, a slight sort of non standard standpoint. Um, so, I mean, uh, so that's, that's kind of been there. I mean, I, I know Eric talked about my just the, the point was, I, I, I'm not a freshman into PhD, so I'm just trying to play science and things like that. I've got a bit of industry background. To work in um, collaboration with the sort of flower community um, on a lot of that sort of thing. One or two other conferences. And then just to sort of pick up on some of the names that I mentioned earlier, you know, back in 2018, um, I went to lots of Europe to see the making of skeleton walk. And uh, the people who won that competition were again finding was kind of an amazing thing to kind of come from a very close and different environment to um, find yourself with a very different common domain and working with very different people. And it was so, you know, the nature of this thing was that you can find your own work and you can do different perspectives and so many different um, uh, 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 sort of cameras that keep you in some way that you're just sort of um, you're kind of working in and in and around this thing. Um, so, so going back to sort of, you know, the, Somehow you've got to have practice in that sense there. And, you know, they're not all working in corporate research and teaching and doing the same thing in academia. Uh, they're just in individual and, um, and so they have motivation to get on, you know, they're working with people from the world. And it's just they're just trying to step into one problem that they need to another. And um, the fact that they, there is this thing like that, it just kind of means that, you know, you can, you can talk about this stuff with your parents or whatever you want to do. The opportunity to participate in this project and, and you know, it's one of those things that has been introduced to the public to sort of contribute to some of some of the knowledge out there. And, and also the sort of the dynamics of the collaboration I think speaks to that as well. And, and I'll just get on to the kind of point later on when you think collaboration is, is the best sort of different, you know, different and more constructive way that you can work with this sort of thing as well. And, and, and also there's always that So I was trying to cut and paste some animations in there, but you know, you see, you see the little train snippet that I've got on the train track, and it's it's sorry, it's blown. Don't know what. <laughs> sorry, this, this screen is different to this screen. <laughs> um, see the bit. Um, uh, at least for a second. Um, anyway, so the, the little train moving around on the train track seems like a, a simple enough problem, and then there's the, the, the sort of much much harder. Thank you. 
solution to the problem is not necessarily that clear. Um, but there was this, also this feeling of, of um, uh, we were trying to um, make this, this very practical operation system um, uh, available to the uh, accessible to the uh, people who are doing really good things in the world. So it's just this general AI, AI technique. So that, that was We were lucky as well that uh, one way or another it, it factored in sort of involvement from uh, a range of uh, academics around the world. Um, and, um, and that sort of made it feel sort of, feel sort of real and have those big sort of industry partners um, who, who uh, you know, say that you know, this is a problem for others who want this, who want this to be solved. Um, and then you have sort of academics who say, yeah, you know, we've been working in this field. And, Yes, it is. It's, you know, people you know, sort of kind of trying to sort of encapsulate the problem and, and uh, make the specific specific problem available without sort of deranging it with people such as you know, a whole range of other kind of complications that are um, you know, just uh, you know, local to the individual um, organisation. Um, you can sort of you know, scratch out this particular problem that you know, the framework has been able to sort of shape the problem. Um, so. What was I trying to say? I was trying to make the point that it looks that simple, seems fairly easy to understand, but then there's a sort of much more kind of, you know, conceptual sort of side to this. That is, it's just, you know, doesn't really matter what the swap is, but it's, you know, it's just powerful. It's possible to sort of take this slightly dry industry problem and make it into some very um, visualizable, complex um, data system center. And again, so there's just an opportunity to sort of, I mean, I'll, to build a bit of eye candy in a way, you know, to sort of um, putting this sort of chemistry head to you, to go from some very, you know, colourful piece of in economic stuff to something that's very dry. Um, to sort of just, you know, to kind of take some, uh, you know, rail network and make it look like a molecule was just kind of um, a feeling as, a, as an individual. Um, so, Again, just to sort of talk about the competition framework, um, the, uh, you know, the prices of it and, and the plot that you're in with the, the sort of uh, the, uh, the kind of motivation that's behind it in various, in various ways. Um, the fact that, um, you know, this, 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 I mean, I've actually been involved in this thing for sort of about you know, four or five years, and I've got quite a lot of data. Renewal solutions have taken some of you know, you know, it's, it's been a little bit of success in the last kind of year or two. Um, but the fact that you know, there's, you know, there's, well, there's sort of the more classical off research people are out there, you know, still sort of way ahead of renewal solutions it kind of makes it, makes it more interesting. But the, the problem still sort of outstands it. Um, yeah, I suppose you could say that this, you know, this competition framework was a sort of resource constraint. You know, people weren't allowed to sort of plug in 32 GPUs just to, to solve the problem, they had to kind of, you know, run it on a, you know, on a sort of a, you know, full core, um, you know, Intel CPUs or whatever. So, we kind of ended up with a situation where C++ programmers were triumphing over people, you know, who had a ton of kind of, um, think more theoretically because they were just able to make their code run a hundred times faster than their writer. And I guess as well, you know, this, but as I said before, this, if you're, the, the, the competitors um, kind of tend, you know, tend not to want to share in this kind of experience. So working on the inside you know, is, is an apt collaborative environment to kind of mirror um, a, a particular workmanship. Um, so, yeah, so this, this community model, I don't know how many people know about this. Um, so the, the, the community model um, uh, was, you know, you got the deadlines of a lot of customers, and so lots of just these small sorts of, um, there weren't lots of uh, competition or, or you know, internal kind of differences to this. Um, so instead of prizes, it's, you know, you had like you know, meetings and workshops and conferences, uh, and they, they kind of get to kind of come up with things like this. Um, uh, so, so 
just to get here and get the answer right for the next thing. So let's debate whether it's three to four and then that that feeling is sort of a joint, joint exercise. And then we can get into the more, more to other things. Um, I think, yeah, so it's been I would say <laughs> it's dropped out of the it's dropped out of the presentation. Um, but, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, I was just going to end it with one thing. So my my yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, my, my son um, my son is sort of studying at anthropology, and I can't think of this thing as like. Um, I think he frames everything in terms of um, uh, you know, small groups of hunter gatherers and how that's kind of how our brain evolves, right? So the, the, the idea is that if you can sort of produce this sort of you know, right sort of species of life by people who kind of know what's going on and what other people are doing, um, then that's, that's the sort of um, uh, if you can sort of get close to that sort of um, nirvana you know, state, then Without having to, you know, without having to, so then you know, the next stage being, what can we 